Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am back with the another interesting topic and the topic is the average salary for the data analyst in India. So friends, salary is uh, one of the important factor when it comes to doing a professional job as we all know. But it is also depending upon uh, various scenarios and various factors so let's say let's take an example if you pass out from a reputed university and uh, you got job into the microsoft or google like fang companies <clears throat> as a data analyst then definitely you will get a very high pay because they are big mnc's big tech companies and their pay scale is very high Similarly, on the same place, if you got a job into a startup as a data analyst, then definitely your pay scale will be very very low and it again depending upon what kind of startup it is. Okay. So compared to the uh, high tech companies, startup gives a uh, low CTC for freshers. I am talking about freshers only. Okay. Now, there are two main types of companies, you know, in IT, we have product based companies and we have the service based companies and some of the companies are running as a hybrid, like they have their own products also and they do provide the services also. Okay. So service based companies give you a uh, low CTC compared to the product based companies because there is a cost and uh, there are lots of other things associated with compensation in the product based companies and the service based company the employee benefit kind of schemes and other benefits like a medical claim and uh, tax benefit and all that thing that kind of facilities are good into the product based companies and nowadays most of the service based companies also started giving a very good employee benefit schemes like uh, <coughs> now when it comes to ctc the service based company approach to the product based company based on any requirement and the project and they do give uh, assignment from the product based companies and for that purpose they hire a candidate in service based companies so billing happening from product based company and uh, in service based company we work for product based company only so service based company gets some sort of uh, commission out of it and that is the reason the ctc is low compared to the product based company now let me give you a brief uh, idea about uh, average salary of the data analyst okay so average salary for the data analyst is again varies with the level of experience so i will give you average salary for different level of experience okay let's say you are absolute fresher and uh, you are working in a service based company then for zero to one year experience your ctc would fall between 3.5 lpa to 5 lakhs per annum so this is the average scaling you can consider a 4 lpa as an average salary as a fresher okay now let's say you have experience between the two year to four year then you can expect your ctc between 5 LPA to 8 LPA and the average would be around 6 to 7 LPA so your average CTC is supposed to be between 6 to 7 LPA if you having the experience of 2 to 4 year, year of experience now with this experience if you keep improving the skills then definitely it will add a more value to your resume and you will get a more CTC again it varies now let's say if you have experience between 4 year to 8 year then your salary will fall between 10 LPA to 17 LPA 
okay and uh, the average point on this is 13 to 40 like you can consider 14 lpa would be the average salary if you have the experience above 4 to 8 year 4 to 10 okay now if you add a more skill like i said as a data analyst you must know the basic statistics microsoft excel sql and uh, any one visualization tool any one programming language if you have this five skills in your resume and you have eight year plus experience i'm saying eight year plus it applies to four year plus also but by considering the ctc if you have the eight year plus experience and with this five skill you can expect roughly 20 plus lpa in your sit as a your ctc okay so if you have four year plus experience and you have this five skill hands-on skill these five skills are as a hands-on you can expect 20 plus lpa roughly so i am again telling this is the average number it is not a high or low it is very very difficult to catch high and low okay with experience if you keep adding up a new skill into your resume then definitely you can get much more high salary there is no limit for high end okay now if you have the 10 year plus experience plus you have uh, all the basic data analyst skill in addition to that you have a data warehouse skill then you have the uh, dba skill if you have uh, any big data related technology in hand as a skill you can briefly expect 30 plus lpa you can expect 30 plus lpa there is no limit on this so this is how a data analyst salary keep varies with response to the your experience your level of skill and the company that you are working in if it is product based you will definitely get a good ctc if it is service based nowadays they are started giving good ctc but again it is depending upon your level of experience and your level of skills so if you have a strong experience that's fine if you don't have strong experience but if you have a strong skill definitely you can crack a good ctc so that's all for today hope this clarifies your doubt if you have any doubts Hit, uh, hit your thoughts into the comment section and do let me know on which topic you want me to, want me to make another video so that's it for today i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye stay tuned subscribe to my channel like share and subscribe